Hi everybody, how are y'all doing? It's Edie, and I just want to show y'all what I've been doing for the last month. I got him in this nice little Valentine's box that I got from my husband a couple of years ago, and it's just the right size for what I've been doing. So, basically what I've been doing is, you know, I've been messing around with resin for the, about the last, oh, I don't know, six, seven, eight months, and, um... One of the things that I wanted to do was be able to preserve some of the um, items I've gotten throughout the years uh, without losing them. And last year for Halloween, my youngest daughter got me the Nightmare Before Christmas Clings, C-L-I-N-G-S. And uh, of course, you know, after um, a couple of weeks or a couple of months in the hot Texas, South Texas sun, it the clings weren't clinging anymore and so I had them in a box and messing around with them and I'm gonna move this for a second um, messing around with them I wasn't able to use the clings anymore and I was kind of disappointed well about a month ago like I said I got this bright idea to see if I couldn't use um, if I dried off the clings real well, I'm, and I, by the way, I had to use vinegar to get that oily mess off of them. And um, so the first one that I did, as you can tell, is a, um, it, it's, the, it's the, the title. So it's The Nightmare Before Christmas, Disney's Tim Burton. And I learned a lot by this because I did it as one direct pour. And even though I got the bubbles out of it, it still um, flicked up over here by the sea. Um, I didn't want to make these real uh, thick or heavy because then I was afraid they wouldn't stay on, you know, the branches or whatever that I was going to put them on. Um, so I kind of left it alone and just went about my business. Um, another thing I did, this one has a little bit of glitter in it. And I added some bling on the side because, you know, I'm going to face it, I'm a girl. And I like bling. Uh, so it, I hung it up with a green fishing line, um, nothing fancy, but that's the first one. And then, of course, you know, we got to have the star of the show. He's not near as big as that one, but he is the star of the show. And you can tell which way it goes by looking at um, the facial feature or whichever way you want it to go. Um, pretty much did the same thing. It's got... Just uh, a little bit of uh, glitter in it, nothing fancy. Got that little cute little trim on it. Same fishing line. So of course the next one, because she's a bigger one, and because I was having trouble uh, really getting her to lay down. Of course, this is my all-time very favorite character. This is Sally. Now as I went along, I learned something as with each one of these that I did, and I figured out that. Um, if I made it a little thicker on the back side, it actually held the, the um, cling in a lot better and it gave it a better surface. Of course, um, she doesn't have any glitter, but she does have bling on the side. And if you're wondering why Sally is my favorite, because it's the only Disney character that has as many scars as I do. And that's no joke. So there's Sally. And then, of course, you know, you can't have uh, Jack Skellington without his faith, faithful little pup. And this one, I you can tell it's getting it's getting cleaner, clearer, crisper, thinner. Uh, it's working a little better each time I go on. As I said before, I learned something a little different. So there's zero. And then you can't have the good guys without, you know, of course, the bad guys. So here we got Oogie Boogie. And like I said, every time I did one of these, I learned a little bit more. So this one's almost flush. Um, again, with the same trim, a little bit of glitter in here because I, I just kind of figured he needed to sparkle a little bit. Um, and then, of course, I've got Lock, Stock, and Barrel. Lock, Shock, and Barrel. And, uh, uh, I got these, and the funny thing about it was, I wasn't sure who this character was, because she didn't have her hat on. 
So um, that, this one threw me off, and it took me a while to figure it out. But, of course, they've got a little bit of glitter in it. You know, I did go overboard with it. Um, this one's a little thicker than this one. Uh, these two are about the same size. Now, as far as the molds are concerned, I used um, lids. Anytime I could find a lid, like like uh, the Sally and Zero, they're off a of large uh, oatmeal uh, containers, the, the cardboard ones. Um, the Nightmare Before Christmas one and this one right here were actually lids off of um, uh, some con uh, some containers that I had. I forgot what food they were, but that's what those were. This one, believe it or not, is just a tad bit bigger than that one. This one came off uh, another food item, uh, one that I had. These three right here uh, came off of, um, I used uh, uh, the lids to the icing, you know, to um, go to the store and buy the icing in a jar. And so um, that's my Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments that I created out of uh, uh, the gel clings. And um, I'm quite thrilled with them. I'm very happy with them. Um, I can't tell you what a thrill it was to get these done. And I'm not, I wished I could say, oh, it just took one time and I was done and it was perfect. It wasn't. It was a pain where a pill wouldn't reach. And um, um, as a matter of fact, the Sally, I had to pull her out like four or five times before I could actually get it correct. These right here are just some experimentations that I were do that I was doing. And I were, I were doing these. And uh, these are really... Um, some of the very first ones that I did, and that is no joke. Um, I did these, you can tell this one is a little uh, thicker on one side than it is on the other. And not only that, um, I made the stupid mistake of uh, pouring too much resin out, and it got stuck to my um, um, plastic that was underneath it to protect my carpet. But all in, it's really heavy. It probably weighs a good ounce, ounce and a quarter. Um, but, um, I, I love the saying on it. I like everything that came out on it. It, it just really makes me happy when I see it. Um, I used, uh, FX, uh, FW inks, uh, to get the blue tones. And then I came across, uh, after I put everything together, I came across with a gold, um, Sharpie and a black Sharpie. And it says, when all things, when all else fails, be scary. And it has the, um, um, a plague doctor skull on it and so that one came out really good I mean I, I, I mean I realize it's thick and I made a lot of mistakes on it but this isn't going anywhere it's mine so you know I'm happy with it um, then of course um, I had uh, silicone uh, ice trays that were ghost and so I wanted to try something with with uh, this now this one came out extremely clear uh, almost like glass. I don't, I'm not quite sure how I got that one, but it works beautifully. Um, and then I decided to put some um, little um, little stones in it. Don't do that. It it doesn't work. The glitter actually works better, and it gives it a better reflection. These things right here were just a pain, and I'm not a big fan of it. But it is what it is. Um, I use, like I said, I used uh, a silicone um, ice tray that has a ghost on it, and I made the ghost first. I used a Grant the FW inks, and uh, uh, it works really well. And then when it when I pulled it out of the mold and I made sure it was all dry, I used again the gold sharpie and the black sharpie to give the expression. And then I sunk it after I did the first layer. I used um, E6000 and I glued it down uh, onto the first section of it. And then uh, I poured uh, a little bit more in it to really make this thing be secure on the inside of it. And if you look, it, it comes up maybe on the wings, maybe, a, I don't know, an eighth of the height from this point to this point. Um, so it's, it's really in there. That's not going to come out. Uh, the next one I did, these were fun. Um, these were actually uh, charms that I found. Um, at Hobby Lobby, and I just thought they were awesome. And uh, so, of course, this is hands and uh, skeletal hands, and I set those in the exact same way. 
um, they're sealed on the bottom with the uh, resin. Of course, I put the bling on the side because, you know, I thought it was cool looking because, you know, I'm a girl. The next thing that I did was really uh, my, my, my beautiful sister-in-law, Audrey, um, gave me some jewelry. And one of them, when I put it on, it, it just broke all to pieces. And one of the pieces on it was um, uh, a jewel that was a butterfly. And I know it's not in with Halloween and all that, but I just wanted to show you what you could do. Um, I poured the resin in about halfway, and just before it solidified, added a little bit of E6000 on the back of the, the jewel itself, and then I set it into the, the soft uh, resin. And then I just kind of sat there for about 15 minutes with my fingers on top of it, holding it down. And when I felt like it wasn't going to float back up, um, it, it held it into place. I don't have any bubbles in this one, so I actually did a better job on this one. Um, I used a uh, copper tape on the side um, to, to kind of finish it off. Again, with a green um, fishing line. Um, this one I gave to my daughter. Oh, and I used a, a 1 16th drill bit to put the holes in all of these after they were hardened. Then I went to town and I just started making a bunch of ghosts and and uh, some of them's got a lot of bubbles in them and some of them don't and some of them look yellowish even though believe it or not I put a red uh, dye in it. Uh, for some reason they came out uh, with a yellow tone. Not quite sure why. And a couple, of course a bunch of them came out you know kind of clear. And then this one right here I added blue because, you know, why not have a blue ghost? So those those what came out. Those are some more ornaments. And then, like I said before, I had some of those um, little jewels. And um, I uh, put the little body parts in there. These two right here. Uh, this one right here has a heart in it. This one right here has the rib cage and the pelvic. And this one right here has the rib cage in it. I mean, the heart in it. So it can go boop, 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 and beat. Okay, so I'm going to pick you up for a second, and I want to take you over to another area so you can see what else I've been doing. Um, give me just a second. And uh, that's what I made. This is a, uh, of course, it's a Halloween wreath, and it's got a little bit of bling in it, so it's nice and shiny. I've got uh, black spiders, and I've got the flowers with the eyeballs in them. I've got, um, actually from that point all the way down to this point, I have 38 individual hands. And then I have two more right there, so that makes 40. So 40 hands to go to that way, and the other 38 going up and around. Then I have this beautiful little green bling spider, and this is one of the other uh, ghosts that I made. It has a real nice clear, it came out just crystal clear, and you can see the, um, the skeletal part in it. Um, I've really worked hard on these and trying to get um, a little bit more feminine with some of my, my work, because I know it's you know, mine's been very uh, not feminine. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, so I'm going to go slow so you don't get sick to your stomach. And uh, then I'm going to turn you around so you, you can see my ugly face. Uh, hold on a second. So, um, just wanted to say thank you so much for... Uh, putting up with me for the last month for not posting videos or really talking about what I've been doing for the last month. It's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of learning experiences. But I think that we need to find something in our life that makes us happy. And whether we succeed at it or whether we fail from it, it doesn't matter. At least we're learning something. So I'm going to let you go and just know... Just know that I appreciate each and every one of y'all. 
I'm almost at 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to have a drawing at 100 su subscribers. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be giving away, but I'm going to do it. I have already decided. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. This is a little long. God bless. Be safe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell. And know that um, I'll be here for you. Happy Halloween, everybody. God bless. Bye.